7.45, Adam Webster playing the great hits of the 60s, 70s, and now the 80s. And my guest has promised on the telephones, Dennis Miller. Good morning, Dennis. All righty. How you doing? Doing all right. This Saturday night at Foxwoods, you're going to be doing a show with Dana Carvey and the guy who took over your weekend update chair on Saturday Night Live, Kevin Nealon, which sounds like a very fun night. 25 years ago, when we started out there, we went out and did a tour together, and I said to the boys, why don't we go out and just have dinner and reconnoiter and see how we're doing and uh, do a couple shows. So this is one of them. I brought a dictionary with me because I know you tend to use some big words. You've gotten more political over the years, but for your stand-up comedy... Pretty much the same approach as you've always taken? I'm not that uh, diverse a, a person. <laughs> sort of the same. It's not the same act. I've done eight, eight HBO specials, but uh, it's the same approach that I've had for 25 years. You know, sort of sardonic and uh, some uh, arcane references, and uh, that's you know sort of my approach. You had a great nine-year run on HBO, Dennis Miller Live, then Monday Night Football, where you may have been a little too hip to the room. Ah, listen, half the people hated me, half liked me. I, I abide by the decision. It's only showbiz. You should get whacked once in a while in showbiz. So I, I had a good two years there, but uh, if John Madden wants the job, John Madden should get the job in football if I'm ever in L.A. on any given night and I want to do stand-up comedy, and I go over to the improv and John Madden's on stage, they better haul his fat ass off, too. <laughs> and now we can see you on a regular basis on The O'Reilly Factor, doing some political commentary on Fox with Bill O'Reilly. Yeah, we've turned into some sort of weird Rowan and Martin act, but uh, I didn't see that coming. But to me, it's sort of like doing a weekend update again at full circle. I have eight to ten minutes a week <laughs> to score, so it feels sort of the same. So as we're broadcasting from our radio station, you are uh, talking to a radio mic as well. Uh, where are you doing your show these days? Uh, I'm about to go on in four minutes. Where are you broadcasting out of? Uh, in my bathrobe, uh, 200 feet from my bed. i got to get your agent. Hey, Dennis Miller, <laughs> thanks a lot for this, man. Make sure you specify that it has to be 200 feet from your bed, not my bed. Agents don't get things sometimes. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. Diana Ross and the Supremes, 98.9 ORCFM.